Luke here at the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel and today me and Jake we're gonna finish our bunk bed bushcraft shelter. We're also gonna eat some amazing food and have a great time doing it. Oh, there's tons of bunny tracks here, Jay. That's where the bunnies have eaten the bark off the tree. That's what they eat in the wintertime. I can see it, we're almost there. All right, we made it. And it looks like some animals have been visiting. This is a moose track from only a day ago. So many rabbit tracks here. Let's see if they went inside. Yeah, there was a bunny went inside our board. We had house guests. You know, that's pretty hard to do with snowshoes on there, Jake. No, it's not. There we go. Now go try that ladder. Yeah, now you're climbing it like a champ. Why don't you use the shovel to clean off the snow there? Well, our shelter looks like it's in pretty good shape. Me and Jake are just gonna kinda knock the snow off and get things organized, and then I've got a few improvements I'm gonna make. I got a plan in mind, I'm gonna need seven small trees. How you doing? Are you getting cold, Jacob? Yeah. Do you want to get in your sleeping bag? Yeah. You... Get some caribou hides down. Watch up, Do you know five There we go. Mm -hmm. These snowy boots off. Pants off. Get yourself all warmed up. Get down deep in that sleeping bag. You want me to get your blankie? Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. Ah, uh, Jacob's such a trooper. He's been following me around in his snowshoes for the last two hours, but his fingers are all cold. So I threw him in a sleeping bag, gave him some toys and his blankie. He's good to go. If you're gonna take kids out in this weather, have a good sleeping bag. A good sleeping bag can fix a lot of problems.
All right, well, the shelter's looking pretty good. I just need some final touches. I really need a chair in there. Now that we got that done, I think we need to get some firewood chopped up. Sun's starting to set. Time to get out our lamps. Well, now they got my lights on, I think I need to get a little organized here. This is a bit of a mess. Oh, there we go. Oh, this fire's just barely started and it's already warming up. This shelter just concentrates that heat so well. I got went and stacked some logs up in between the fire and the heat reflector. One, it'll help dry out my wood so it'll burn better. And two, it'll kind of protect my heat reflector from catching on fire till I get the fire dialed in. There we go, now we're cooking with gas. Oh, is this warm? Yeah. You like the trail mix, bud? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're probably pretty hungry, huh? I got a little boy who told me he's hungry, so we're gonna go ahead and get a hot dog going. Oh no, Cole, oh, hang in there, Winnie. Oh, yeah. That's a good looking hot dog. So the white bellied Jacob hides in his burrow and eats his prey. <laughs> you like your hot dog? All right, it's time to start cooking some dinner and I've got this big cube of butter here with rosemary, basil, and garlic in there. And we're gonna just sit this by the fire and let it get all melty and mixed together. Well, I got a sweet potato here and I've split it long ways and put cinnamon butter inside and wrapped it in tin foil. We're gonna throw it on the coals and let this thing slow cook till it's nice and soft. You getting too hot, Jake? There we go. Here's your slippers. Yeah, these little camp booties are nice. All right. Are you hungry? Yeah, I'll get you some crab legs. Well, the sweet potato is almost done, so I think it's time to start cooking the main course. King crab legs. Look at these things. Check out, this is just one king crab leg. It's over two feet long. Look how thick that is, too. So much meat on these things. They're so delicious. Nice thing about crab legs is they're always pre-cooked. So all you gotta do is just heat them up and eat them. And I take my pot holder. Look at this massive joint. That is a solid piece of meat right there. Dip that in the rosemary garlic butter. Oh, that is so good. Mm. 
Mm. There's so much meat on these crabs. That one knuckle was like a whole lobster tail. Look at this. Oh. Oh. Yeah, look at that sweet potato. Oh. Mm. oh, that sweet potato is good. Got a piece of cornbread for you, too. Okay. These are on the outside with crabs. Take a little bit of this meat. A little butter on there. King crab, sweet potato, and cornbread. You ready? Do I hold it? Yeah, yeah, you can hold it. Do I like would say do that? Well, there we go. Look at that plate of food. Oh, so good. Mm. That rosemary butter is so good. Mm. Oh, I just inhaled that. Oh, I just ate two pounds of king crab legs. And I could eat two more. That was so fabulous. King crab has to be one of my favorite things to eat up here in Alaska. And if all goes well, here in a couple months, I'm going to go catch my own. It's going to be nice. Well guys, I got a belly full of food and I am exhausted, so I'm going to go ahead and get my bed ready and get into the, my sleeping bag. But uh, it's way too hot in here. I've got to go put this fire down, otherwise I'm going to roast tonight. My socks are kind of sweaty, so I'm going to take my socks off and stick them in the bottom of my bag to dry. I want to put on these slippers to keep my feet warm. If you get cold feet at night, get a pair of these down booties. Oh, they're so nice. And they weigh almost nothing and they take almost no room in your bag. All right, guys, it's late. It's time for bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, the sun's up but I am slow getting up and at him. It's nice and toasty in my bag. Oh, this is the hardest part of winter camping. <laughs> oh, I'm so brave. Oh. When you first start the fire, it just fills this thing with smoke. Once the fire gets hot though, it clears the smoke out. There we go, it'll warm my boots up. A lot of ice on the inside of this tarp. It snowed just a little bit last night. There's a lot of condensation and ice on this tarp. How are we doing? Well, these are all nice and toasty. Oh, my socks are nice and warm and dry. Well, since I'm up and about, I'm going to go ahead and put my sleeping bag away. Don't want it falling in the fire or smelling like smoke. Melting sleeping bags has been a problem lately. Well, now that I got things straightened up in here a little bit, I think it's time to start making some breakfast. Hey, good morning, Jacob. Good morning, Daddy. You hungry? Not right now. Jake, you want chocolate croissant? I've got a hot chocolate to dip it in. Yeah. Here, let me test it out, make sure it's good. 
Mmm. You like that? All right, guys, for breakfast, we're having steel cut oatmeal. All right, we got a lump of butter and some brown sugar. There you go, you can have the rest, bud. <laughs> If I've said it once, I've said it a million times, steel cut oatmeal is so much better than instant oatmeal. Mm. Fills you up properly too. Hey Jake, you like the oatmeal? It will make me poop and be swan. Yeah, it will. Oatmeal is an excellent source of fiber. Ah, feels nice to have a belly full of warm food. Well, now that we got breakfast out of the way, I think I need to clean up a little bit. Place is getting messy. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, let's get you. Get here. Get in there. Two of them. Whoop. Hey, Jake, you good? All right, we got Jacob loaded up somewhere in there. You cozy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wish somebody would pull me in a sled while I was snuggled in a sleeping bag. That'd be pretty nice. Well, I hope you guys had as much fun as we did. If you wanna see more camping and adventure videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning and check out our camping and adventure playlist. I'll put a link in the video description below. All right, I'll see you guys next Saturday morning. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button so you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.